say they did a really good job with the inquiry. It can be incredibly high DBS. It can be a tank. Um, there's just no limits to what this ship can do. As far as I can see. Uh, the seating's pretty damn good too. I didn't use any miracle worker traits. Um, or should I say abilities. To buff anything on this ship. And it came up way over 100k. On a buddy of mine's DPS meter. So let me show you how I have it set up. Most of the gear on the ship is craftable or from your uh, fleets. Uh, okay, so you can just buy most of the gear that's on here. What I use is mainly from the Spire, which would be the tactical console. Um, and from the colony, I have one tactical console. So let's jump into it. Forward Terran Task Force Dual Heavy Cannons. I'll get into why they're there in a minute. A craftable dual beam bank with pen, dark matter torpedo. Again, another dual beam bank craftable with pen. Phaser wide angle dual heavy beam banks, which I'm just falling in love with the dark matter set. It makes every build pop. By the way, the wide angle, it's kind of like having almost two beam arrays because it does have that, you know, just the arc on it is incredible. This is from the colony, deflected dish, re-engineered to have some drain. Um, Drain is something that I'm not sure if it's going to change the meta or if it's just something we're discovering now. But I'm seeing more DPS having drain on certain kinds of weapons like phaser or anything with a crit X proc on it. it seem, the drain seems to help a lot. I'd have to contact Augmented Dictator, any of the guys from Temple Ops. I mean, they're just while wow, out there um, I haven't heard from casual SOB which is the proverbial wizard of the game or Stargate Wars but I'll try to verify that for everyone in future videos prevailing engine I'm only using one piece and I decided to play around with the Temporal Alliance uh, Warp 4 mainly for the subspace jump not gonna lie but it does add 7.5 to my weapon power which is nice the tilly shield still for the increased shield penetration um, a crafted omnidirectional phaser re-engineered damage times 4 a heavy biomolecular phaser turret and the trihelium omnidirectional phaser array Okay. I used reactive uh, armor catalyst on this, the red matter capacitor, and the temporal negotiator. <laughs> One of the Healy consoles uh, from the colony for phaser and kinetic because it has a chance to heal your ship anytime you use a firing mode. I have two firing modes on here the dynamic power redistribution module yeah guys my medication is special so I get some tied a lot <laughs> reinforcement armament which is nice hull restoration hull capacity which is actually the second piece to this uh, trihelium which is from the storyline and if we look at the two piece bonus I get a chance at a 5% fire cycle haste Flight speed is nice too. Next one over would be also from Reputation, the Hydrodynamic Compensator. Again, it's a two piece set, it goes with the turret for next to 7.5% phaser damage. 
And from the Lobby store, we have the bioneural infusion circuitry, the point defense bombardier warhead that if you have the legendary pack, you get it from, uh, I believe it's the NX version. Or the NX Starship, if you're Rami, you get it from the Lobby store. Um, yeah. Then, and the all famous Takio Kinetic Converter from the Lobby store again. Uh, Lobby store items, before I get a bunch of inboxes on Discord, you can get them. I mean, they have. Oh, wrong tab. Events going where um, at the end of the event you get to choose lobbies and stuff or a ship you don't really need the ship and you don't have you know these two lobby consoles at least I would definitely definitely invest and save up for them this console actually comes with the ship it's what turn rate and 15% phaser damage it does have a set bonus and I do have the other pieces for all weapon damage and maximum hull hit points, but I didn't create a tank, so I didn't put them on here. Lorca's custom fire control, which is the third piece to the dual beam bank and the dark matter torpedo. All right, so you get crit chance and weapon power setting and shield penetration. I have three vulnerability locators for higher crit chance. Cause that's my thing good chance I like it I'm actually using the trade off the ship which is on emergency power to shields you get uh, 26,000 plus uh, secondary shield points um, I'm not in the system this actually goes a lot higher than this and a chance at 8.7 fire cycle haste So we have operative, right? 1% crit chance, 1% crit severity, superior beam, superior cannon, and superior projectile. I have all three weapon types and I want them all to hit hard. Self-modulating fire, Terran targeting systems, because I feel like my crit severity is just not there. On this ship, you definitely feel the slowdown when it procs but luckily you know I have my trajectory jump and I also have my competitive engines the captain on the ship is Romulan so I can put on the additional crit severity and crit chance and into the breach um, defeating an, an enemy debuffs ne nearby enemies that's mainly why I have it. A good day to die, I think it's just a, a staple with every um, tactical character. If we come down traits, the rune of our enemy, 2% um, bonus damage for every second. When you defeat a foe, so you have to land the killing blow, which is not a problem when the ship beam overloads. The ship's trait itself, which is the secondary shield and the fire cycle haste. Preferential targeting, okay. After using beam fire will or scanner volley gain 100% damage to beam overload. That is why you saw the cannons on this build. So, after I activate the scatter volley, beta, I usually go beam overload. Super weapon is increased direct duration of beam overload by five seconds. Okay, intertwined. I did not put a torpedo firing mode, so every time I do uh, my beam fire will two here, I'm granted a um, beam. Uh, excuse me, not beam. Oh, Lord. <laughs> He's scared. 
I get a George Spread one. Okay. Um, I can also do the same thing using Scatter Valley, by the way. My space reputations. Tactical advantage. Armor penetration. Crit severity. Bonus weapon power. Tyler's duality, which I'm not sure if I'm going to keep or not. And the chrono capacitor. Um, if you notice, there's a lot of things on the ship, a lot of traits at least, to cool, to help cool down. So, for space, I have an extra slot, guys. Give you a quick rundown. I got too many Discord messages about most people don't have six uh, space officers or whatever. So what I just did, I took one off, okay? Since I do do my builds for the average player, you know, this is your end game build. Maybe you don't want to follow a cookie cutter. All right, cool. Well, I'm giving you options where you can pew pew as much as you want and successfully do all of your uh, optional and possibly even carry those on your team that can't. So we have 21 of 47 increased stats after using a bridge officer ability. We have a chance for beam overload to gain 35% shield penetration. We have stacking crit severity and only two officers for uh, recharge time for Ox the Bat. They're only there because I have one Ox the Bat on this ship. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, the next video will be La Sirena. Or La Sirena, I should say it the right way. Peace. I have links for other high Enjoy DPS channels below orders. in the channel description. Captain, it looks like the Romulans are standing down. Excellent decision. Stand out from Red Alert. Now prepare to be escorted out of Federation space. That won't be necessary. Really Don't forget no to smash that like button. Hit subscribe if it's your first time here and join me on the live stream.